Hi everyone and welcome to Prime Property Care Vlog. And yes, I know I haven't posted like for a million years and I could say tons of excuses and everything, but I think none of it is of importance. What's important that I'm here now and I would like to share oh, what's happening in HMO market, HMO industry and what we what we've been up to. So I thought that I'm one of the first videos that I'm going to share is my comeback <laughs> is um is utilities and are HMO properties still profitable in this market on what's happening with energy prices and everything so what do you think are HMO properties still profitable I think that HMO properties are still profitable as long as the bills are and usage that actually the as long as the actual energy usage usage at the properties are well managed and I thought I'll share a few of the things that we have done and so far it's been working very well for us. So one of the things that we have done, we have done like a slight um, rent increase for all of the tenants to compensate with the energy price increase. And this contributes towards the energy bills and everything. And it's a, it's a small, usually on average, three, four, five percent increase. It's not we haven't done skyrocketing rents and things like that. Unless it's been um, a tenant who has been on really, really low rent since COVID, then the rent increase would be slightly higher than five percent. So, yeah. <laughs> And however, um, this contributes towards the bills, but it doesn't solve the actual issue of unreasonable um, energy usage in HMO properties, which is the challenge because often tenants walk in shorts and t-shirts at the properties and turn on the heating on plus 26 degrees and, um, and, and open the windows for ventilation. Completely opposite of what I'm here in my nice, cozy jumper i'm actually having my nice woolen jumper here so nice and cozy so yeah so one thing we have done is thermostat thermostats at the properties and this really does work wonders because what happens you can set up the temperature on 21 degrees it's it's fairly complex for tenants to actually change it to higher temperature and the temperature after two hours um, the heating after two hours would switch off automatically and it could only be uh, boosted for another two hours if someone is home so if someone would be working from home then you know they can boost the heating when necessary but when everyone is away the heating is off, which is wonderful, and the heating goes 21 degrees, not 25, 26, as you find, often can find. So this has worked really well for us. And the person who actually designed it is actually HMO landlord himself. And I, I think it, it's really amazing. And um, we have actually used it for a few of our properties you know, for about three, four years before the energy price prices. But now with all the uh, price increases and everything, we have actually put it in pretty much most of our properties. And then another thing we have done for the properties where we could implement um, electric heating only is something called Metro prepay meters. So how it works is that you still have your main utility um, meter and you still pay all the bills yourself for the whole property but you have sub meters for each of the room and each tenant would pay for their electric heating and electric usage um, in the property themselves so they could top up at the local store or online or on the phone and um, and what this has done it's not that um, that the tenants would be pay the bills and what and that has changed the amount of the bills but it's the actual usage we have noticed that the bills have become much less the total bills of the whole household because the tenants started to look after what they actually use and what is reasonable so this has really worked wonders for us i hope you enjoyed the video we have done few other things that i'm happy to share in the comments if you have any questions feel free to ask and have a wonderful day thank you so much bye